Hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos Blindly Plays AI The Somnium Files. You might notice that things are a little less glitchy now. Uh, yeah, so I went ahead and I shut down the game and I reloaded the game and went to the, the video options when you first launch it on Steam. And there I went down to VSync and the anti-aliasing options at the bottom and just unchecked them. And now everything looks, uh, fine. No more hair glitching out. No more weird ass room going all glitchy when I stand still. Honestly, I thought that was actually something that was in the game just for like aesthetic. I, but uh, no, apparently not. That was just a glitch. Uh, so yeah, let's, I guess, come over here. I go to the door. We talk to Mr. Skeleton. No. Really? Okay. Door it is then. A door locked with a padlock. Cool, get the crowbar. When investigating things, you can choose from a number of options to give Ava instructions. For now, have Ava investigate the door. It appears all I have to do is open this door. Yes, this is correct. Okay, that's not how you open a door. I can't touch it. Your arms are a little weird, this is true. That is to be expected. Dreams are not bound by logic. This is Date's Somnium, a reality built by dreams. Uh, I need to turn down the music a little more. <laughs> I, I can barely hear her over the goddamn background. Let's try that again. My Somnium? Okay, that's better. I see. Your mental faculties must be hazy because your body is currently sleeping. I suppose I will have to explain. I'd rather you not disturb my precious sleep. Shut up and listen. Oh, you pissed off the AI. Date, look at that. The places where the light touches have become colored. Um, what? Perhaps those Oh, okay. Never mind. I didn't notice the other part was black and white. Every human mind is unique. Every human dream has its own set of rules. I see. If you understand these rules, the dream world itself... Who the hell was that? Who was that? Yeah. I don't know. You must know. This is your dream. It is created from your memories. I don't know what to tell you. I have no idea who that was. You may remember upon reflection. I need to give you commands that will unlock the mental locks, right? Indeed. But it is difficult to predict exactly how an object will behave in Somnium. Think outside the box. Trying different actions will help solve the problem. I'm good at thinking outside the box. No one say anything. Now, what should I have you do? Please stop being so creepy. Don't forget that I have a veto. In the Somnium world, you are able to investigate objects that have a floating name. A new object has appeared. Move Ava over to it to investigate. I really want to investigate this skeleton. It's apparently drinking. Uh, let's go over to the potted plant. A winter iris. What? Do you not recognize it? This is an iris that blooms in winter. A flower with a woman's name. Uh, smell? Hmm. Hey, I didn't know you could smell. I can't. I'm pantomiming. I don't know what that means. Isn't it easier to visualize this way? Sure. Whatever. Not enough. Pardon? Harder. You gotta smell it harder. What? Uh, okay. Okay, we're just... What? Alright. <laughs> Alright, no, that's fine. Are you gonna snort that goddamn plant? You actually snorted the goddamn plant! Put on some pants, by the way! Amazing suction! Bravo! Marvelous! What are you experiencing so regularly to cause this to happen in your dreams? Apparently I'm on a lot of drugs. That's about right. You were able to touch it. Correct. So, I just need to keep this up? Something like that. Oh, okay. Snorting the plant has actually progressed the bar. This is... Okay, yeah. 
I think this is where my brain's gonna start checking out. Your actions can now advance the progress, sure. Uh, you can view the controls in the menu, thank you. Hi, Switch. Where'd your... Ivy stuff go? A Switch. The thorns are gone. Yeah, that stuff. Uh, turn on the Switch, I guess. Now I can activate the Switch. Did I snort the... 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 Ivy as well? Good job. Hello, person. Goodbye, person. Isn't this rewarding, Date? Another place you can touch. I would rather be sleeping. Oh, hey, metal lock unlocked, I guess. Sure. Uh, turn on the light. You will unlo unlock the turn on the light mental lock. But there is another mental lock in this, um, in this Omnium. Unlock the next mental lock using the guide. Open the door as a lead. You can always check the tutorial by pressing the menu file uh, appendix. But you know, I'm good. I'm just gonna come over to this wine and drink it. A glass of wine. Have a sip. Leave it to me. I meant from the glass, hey. you alcoholic. <sighs> Guess I'd be a wino. <laughs> I feel kind of good. Why is an AI getting drunk? I don't know, that's my dream. <laughs> Why do I have to listen to Date diss me all the time? I don't know, because you're not wearing pants. <laughs> oh, she's annoying when she's drunk. Someone else can come take her. Hi, skeleton. A skeleton? It appears to be bleeding from the left eye. Oh, is it that lady? Talk. To the skeleton? I guess. You just want someone to talk to, huh? True. Hello, my name is Iba. What is your name? Iba. I gotta remember that it's Iba, not Aba. How are you? I am currently 92% charged and feeling well. Wait, how do you charge? You're in my eye. Do I take it out and hey, like put it in ice, like a ignore me. like a charge slot? Stupid, bony man. Your mother is a stupid, bony girl. Bony, bony, bony. Yeah, that's about right. Are you finished? My disappointment is immeasurable. That's not. That's not a. That's not a reference to the YouTube meme, right? A skeleton. Uh. Okay. No. Uh. Basket. A basket. Cannot see inside it. Well, pull it out and look. Where ba where basket? Leave it to me. It is dark. I cannot see anything. I, uh, I I think you're the skeleton over there. I see a dumb AI and a skeleton. A skeleton. Okay, no, that didn't do anything. I guess we'll search okay. it this time. A model of a UFO, a stuffed chupacabra, and a one dollar bill. Oh, take the dollar bill. Occult stuff, maybe? A dollar bill? Does the occult interest you, Date? The truth is out Oh, wait, no, there's like a pyramid with an eye on the back of the bill, right? Okay. It is a trending topic. Anyone could have encountered items such as these. Like, you know, at a store where they spent money. True. Somebody's into the occult. This is somewhat different than occult. Oh, we can't. I should have tackled the box. A floor lamp shaped like a rose. I kind of want it. I mean, clearly you have to kick it. <laughs> About right. You don't have to kick it so hard. Give it everything you've got. Exactly. That's my motto. Uh, it didn't even budge. I saw the skeleton's skull move slightly. How? Hey, Date. Are we gonna get him too? Huh? What are you, a thug? Do you want to kick the, the, the skeleton? A skeleton. Hit, hit the skeleton. Know this, skeleton. I harbor no grudges against you. Hi -yah! This is a fucking weird game. Wh what? I have a look. The wall.
This is a fucking weird game. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a weird game. Maybe I should drink before recording this. Make it even more interesting. We kill Iba? I feel like we need her, like, in the eye. Alright? Do you have an irrepressible urge for destruction you've been holding back all this time? Oh, yes! Even if I did, adults have to learn moderation, you know. Who is he? Are you sure you don't know? I don't know. He looks like some old man. Is it gonna be my dad? You could describe him a little more generously. Am I gonna have daddy issues? Uh, hmm, a hidden item. Insomnia? There's always one somewhere. Hmm, no more. I can't eat anymore. I'm stuffed. What? Okay, so I gotta find the hidden item. Did I miss the hidden item? Going to pick, pick, pick up the gun? What? Was that the hidden item? Hey, guess what I was doing? I was running around pressing A. Also, I get an achievement for that, so sweet. I assume that was the hidden item. Let's go pick up the gun. A gun came out of the skull? It's a key gun! Investigate. Why is there a gun in this house? This house has a skeleton in it. Anything can happen. It doesn't anymore. I hear it's common in the Kyushu area. What? In fact, it is said that they place hand grenades in the egg cartons in their refrigerators. Don't do that. Who did you hear that from? Probably the internet. A gun. Take. It won't go off? That should be fine. Don't pull the trigger. Look at this hot magnum. <laughs> I could ventilate some crooks with this thing. Okay, you don't really point. I mean, there's no one in front of you. I think I think I'm not in front of you. Don't point the gun at people you don't intend to sh don't shoot. Excited. Also, take your finger off the trigger. Remind you of anyone? No. Let's shoot the door, I guess. A door locked with a padlock. Uh, put in the gun. Do you think something this size would fit? That is what she said. Might fit if you work it in a little. That is what he said. Try just the tip. This is gonna be a horny game, huh? I suppose. Oh my god. I see. The gun was the key. Yes, that's why it looked like a key. Straight out of Kingdom Hearts GTA. Well, well, well. It seems I was key in helping us escape. Okay, that's it. This dream is over. Sweet. I suppose this dream is over then. Guess I'll wake up now. Good. <laughs> she does not sound very pleased with us. I'll open it. Oh, dead woman. You, you shot it? Is this my dad? Did my dad shoot my mom? Is that where we're going with this? Yay! Brain, memories hidden in the dream. Sure! That's surprisingly disgusting. Day two, Saturday. These headquarters. Wasn't I at a hospital? I guess I just left. Hi, boss. You really probably shouldn't sit like that wearing a skirt, but okay. Good morning, Date. Good morning, boss. A K-pop band? Why aren't you sitting in your chair? Did you just uncross your legs? 
when boss look she's sitting on the desk casually uh, I see you still haven't cleaned up the place uh, but Mizuki okay stop don't stop that <laughs> stop doing that see you still haven't cleaned up the place where do you think you are agent Metro police building in Kasumi Gaseki Chiyoda district Tokyo underground we're six stories underground yeah what about it no windows it's suffocating in here Dark and dreary all the time. My bedroom. So, I try to make my office colorful. Liven things up a little. I actually don't mind it. It looks fine. Happy birthday, though? The streamers are a bit much. It's like a party, right? I want it to feel fun in here. Yeah. Yeah, fun. Okay. Uh, about this... About Mizuki. Interrogators say she hasn't said a word since we found her. The doctors say she's traumatized. She can't speak. She's seeing a specialist at Central Hospital right now. Did you take her to the hospital after we found her? Yeah. Were you with her this whole time? Yeah? You're like her legal guardian then. No. She just lives with me. So I'm her guardian then. She's 12. Uh, Mizuki Okiura, the girl we found in the merry-go-round. She's 12 year old in the sixth grade. Certain circumstances brought us to live together, but we aren't blood related. Sort of like a stray cat that found her way to my home. Okay, look. It's okay if you take a stray cat in, you know, take care of it, and you know, you take it to the vets, get shots, and everything like that. Um, if a child shows up at your house, you call the cops. Even if you are a cop, you call the cops and be like, yo, there's a child at my house who's trying to move in with me. Help. I don't want to appear on the news. And then they'll come and they'll take the child, hopefully. Don't take in a child as a stray. That's not, that's not how that works. In any case, we're not going to get anything from her. Uh, about six years ago? Hey, remember the case you brought up yesterday? The one that happened six years ago? <sighs> Date, forget about it. What? It's been a long time since I've been at a crime scene, and I got a little carried away, and... <sighs> Look, it was a slip of the tongue, okay? Shouldn't have said anything. That just makes me want to know even more. That case has nothing to do with this one. Okay. But it might. Last night you said this could be a copycat crime. Yes, that's my point. It might be a copycat killer, but it can't be the same killer. Why? That's impossible. Literally impossible. The killer dead? So it's not necessary for you to know about past cases. It would only cloud your judgment. I don't accept that. <laughs> give it up, Date. She is the boss. Uh, about the case six years ago. I wouldn't tell you even if my life depended on it. Even if you took me to the finest club in Kabukicho and showered me in Dom P. My lips are sealed. Okay, we can try that. But why, boss? It's top secret. Classified. The, the Dom P or the case? It was that bad, huh? If that's how you want to interpret it. About the case six years ago. Give it a rest, Date. <laughs> She's getting mad now. This and I'll hit you with a sexual harassment complaint. Oh, I'm used to that. This isn't harassment or sexual. Yes. <laughs> I can make it sexual. Game is goddamn horny. It appears you wouldn't have an issue with that. I can detect your thoughts, remember. Thank you for your input, Iva. About that case six years ago. Just promise me you'll let this go, okay? It's a delicate issue. Even more delicate than my patience. So drop it. That's an order. Understood? Okay. Man, it's still there though. What's the statue of the investigation? Status of the am, statue okay. of the investigation, huh? Status of the investigation. Uh, you're my boss, the commander of Abyss Metropolitan Police Department. I mean, my name. Huh. I honestly don't know. I've been calling you boss for six years, so. Trust me, it's been more than six years. 
<laughs> I suffer from a memory disorder. I don't remember anything, remember anything past six years ago. I've been having flashbacks recently, fragments of my memory. Wait, what does your name have to do with our investigation? Because if you knew me well enough, you wouldn't have to ask. Ah, huh. so, nothing to report then. Got it. Well, about that case six years ago. I'm definitely not going to get anything else out of her. She can surprisingly, she can be surprisingly stubborn sometimes. Okay, but what about that sexual harassment thing? I don't know if I would call them leads. What about the ice pick? The one we found in Mizuki's hand? We were able to identify the manufacturer. <laughs> and it has Mizuki's fingerprints all over it. It's sold nationwide. It it's on your side. to pin down the buyer. <sighs> Damn. We did determine that the shape of the pick and the puncture wounds on the victim match perfectly. We also discovered that the blood on the pick is the victim's. Meaning that ice pick was probably the murder weapon. Uh, yeah. Almost definitely. Uh, Renju Okiara. Have you picked up Renju yet? He's at a police station nearby being interviewed. He's not a suspect yet, just standard procedure stuff. Renju is Soko's ex-husband and Mizuki's father. Not to mention an old friend of mine. I wonder what Renju was doing last night. I did call him a few times. He didn't answer. He didn't? No. The local police tried his phone too, but they got the same result. No one was able to get a hold of him until this morning. We explained the situation to him. Had him verify Shoko's corpse. And naturally started asking him questions. Okay, about that ice pick, though. The pick Mizuki was holding? The only prints on it are hers. The evidence is really stacking up against her. No. She couldn't have done it. That's impossible. I mean, it's not impossible. It's improbable. Well, then you better hurry up and clear her. She is important to you, right? I guess? Let's see. We have some more information about the victim, Shoko Nadami. It's up on the database. Although it's probably nothing you don't already know. Well, maybe not. I haven't seen her for over a year. Still, you know more about her than anyone else on the case, right? It's part of the reason why I assigned you to this. Nadami Shoko, 36 years old. Female, residence, Maguro District. Met Date Kaname five years ago through her husband, Okira Renju. Okay. Date and Renju were so-called old drinking buddies. Right. Renju and Shoko had one child together, a daughter named Mizuki, the prime suspect of this case. I got some questions. Why am I looking after their daughter if they're still both around? Four years ago, they were divorced. Shoko returned to using her maiden name, Nadami. Fair enough. I should also give you this. It's a picture of Shoko. Okay. You'll need this when you're trying to get information, right? I guess. Since you don't have a cell phone. Why don't I have a cell phone? I took Shoko's picture and put it in my pocket. Yo, know, like, what the hell is this? Have you met my partner? This is my childhood friend, Mario. He's a good listener. I tell him all my stories when I get lonely. That's surprisingly sad. This is the one I started to worry about boss's mental health. It's me, Mario. Nice to meet you. Hi, Mario. He talks? Boss's friend, Mario. Does it come with any attachments? Kronos, shut up. You think it's true that a Tanuki's ball sack can stretch up to 10 square feet? What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't know. It's a Tanuki statue. Balls. It's a soccer hmm. ball. Looking at that reminds me of my old boyfriend from high school. So the boss's old love interest must have been an athlete. Interesting. Okay. Sports car. Overall length of 15.35 inches, width of 8.8, .8, height of 5.35, and a body weight of just a hair over 830 grams. 
This RC car has friction dampers on the front and rear axles as well. Uh, how do you know all this stuff? I used to be a flag girl for RC car racing in my glory days. Glory, okay. That's how you spent your glory days? Can't go up any higher? Really? Because I want to investigate the streamers. Bags hanging on a rack. Inside the bags are masks, like for party cost, uh, costume parties. Was that tombstone pile driver? Rip. And nothing to say about the wine, huh? Computer? Oh, the type that has a monitor built in. Yeah, why aren't you sitting in your chair? Uh, darts? Why do you have this? Why wouldn't so she? If we're trapped down here when World War Three starts, we'll have something to do. I mean, I guess, fair enough. Probably would want maybe like something for survival. Are you familiar with the murder case at the resort called Spur? No. Can you, can you tell me about it? Guess not. <sighs> yep. They're all my husbands. You are the internet, huh? Uh-huh. Boss is single, by the way. And incredibly desperate. I use that thing for stress relief sometimes. And insane. No, I can hear it all the way down the hall. <laughs> really? We're not going to ask her about that? I guess it is kind of way more normal than anything else. Bookshelf? Full of files and binders. And make a movie. What does she do in here? Uh, probably nothing that involves work. Alright, I think that's it. Desk? Stickers on the front. Yes, there is. Anything else that I need to check out? Well, I didn't need to check out any of this, but I did it anyways. Okay, boss. Did we ever identify who called it in? The person who reported the screaming? Right. Unfortunately, not yet. What's the holdup? They didn't identify themselves over the phone. But you should have a location by now. <laughs> All we know is that it was a payphone. Oh. Do those even exist anymore? A payphone? It is unusual. Whoever it was clearly didn't want us knowing their I know there's some fire phones around. But a payphone? I haven't seen like a payphone. To be fair, I haven't seen like a fire phone in a while either, but still. Oh, are we leaving? I have a stop. Ow! I have a God damn it, I'm gonna have to wash you off. That's disgusting. You can just do that? Without my permission. Hello. Hi. No, not hello. I told you not to just pop out of nowhere like that. Yeah. I do not understand your concern. Boss knows me by now. Yeah, but it's disgusting. We don't know what's on her floor. Have you seen her? Have you seen this place? We we have some ideas what might be on the floor. So popping out and falling on it is no bueno. Well, still. Uh, broom? Uh, boss? Uh, about I... So about my eye. I'm just gonna look at her. Boss is looking today, but okay, sure. Hey, so... About my left eye. Eye buff. Now's not the time to talk about that. About I? I've been thinking a lot lately. About myself. If I have another mind inside me. Am I really me? Well, it reminds me of something Arthur Rimbaud once wrote. I is another. Meaning what? You have to figure that out for yourself. That's the point. Yeah, but I want the easy way out. Uh, so about AI? Hey, what does love mean to you? Where is this coming from? Just answer the question. Huh. <laughs> 
Let me guess. You're asking me because the Japanese word for love is I, right? Like uh, a I guess. I'm right, aren't I, you dork? That hurts, you know. Hey, boss. Is it possible to do something about her personality? Don't ask me. I didn't create her. Get Pewter to tinker with her. Pewter City? Wasn't the AI ball your idea, though? Oh, it's not all ball? I like all ball better. Yeah, but I didn't choose her personality or the way she talks. You can thank Pewter for that. So he's a weirdo. Alright, we'll talk to Aiba. Aiba? Aiba? It's Aiba. Aiba. Yeah. Next time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.